Hello beautiful souls. I am so excited to welcome you to the Shabby She Queens 2019 YouTube Hop. This hop is hosted by Sandy who is Decorate Your Life, Scrapbook and Card Making and Robin who is Robin M. Pitts, Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. Thank you so kindly ladies for asking me to participate in this hop. I deeply appreciate it. Renee Bouquet is our grand prize sponsor. Re Renee, in my personal opinion, is a shabby queen herself. And she sells shabby items in her shop. One beautiful soul will receive a $50 gift certificate to her online shop. More info about her shop is in the description box below. And guys, be sure to watch all the giveaway winner announcements on March 9th to see if you are the grand prize recipient. The requirements are you must be 18 and over, subscribe to all YouTube channels who have collaborated in this hop, leave a comment on all the videos in the lineup, thumbs up, and your subscription are to be visible in all our channels in order to qualify. In the closing of the hop, all other information, including the lineup, is in the description box below. The project I created for this amazing hop is... Dun, da, da, da. I, I altered a cigar box into a purse. This box was gift, gifted to me by Ida, who was created to create. And this is the smaller version to that box. She gifted me two of them. And I altered the bigger one. This is a series of getting yourselves organized. I do have a video in how I put this together. It is linked in the description box below. So if anybody's interested in how I did that. Here I used some, a few laces and appliques that were gifted to me by my friends. This one was gifted to me by Sonia, who is Hugs and Kisses. These appliques were gifted to me by uh, Christine from Shabby P Pink House. And this fabric that I used here, which, which I believe was a napkin, was gifted to me by Rosie, who is Roses and Tea Cakes, here on YouTube. This I created using a mold. This is a, a cherub or an angel inside of a heart. And it looks like the angel is in a garden. And here's a dangle. And since this has quite a bit of flowers on it, I decided to put a butterfly because it reminds me of a garden. Even the paper is garden-like. And I went ahead and stitched on the paper before I glued it down and I edged the edges with, I, I um, painted the edges with chalk paint, the same paint that I used to color the box. And I did that to all the paper that I um, applied here. And here's another dangle, the same dangle. And this is how I decorated the side where the strap is. And all the laces are either hand sewn or machine sewn. I was a fashion designer for quite a bit of years and glue and fabric and lace do not go together in my personal opinion. So this was all sewn together and you will see that in the process video that is linked in the description box. The front, the, the, the laces in the front were hand sewn. And the laces in the back were done with a sewing machine. And there's a few layers back here. And once I put this, um, the materials together, I sewed it together, I glued it to the box. So that's the only thing that's glued down, that has glue against the box. And I created a pocket here because this was an empty space. And for me, everything has to be utilized. It has to be functional for me. That's what works for me. So here are all the laces. 
the layers and the um, butterfly was hand sewn to this the brooch there's a pretty brooch here on both sides with some appliques there if I didn't mention that already the strap was also done with a sewing machine it has a fabric and then layered with some lace trim on top and then this applique trim on top of that and this is how it gets opened this goes to the front and I didn't want to put any dimensional things here because this is going to be laying flat on the surface And I added this ribbon so that the back won't fall all the way back. And I kept it simple. I used Prima Love Story paper to cover the inside. And this is um, part of the giveaway. I will be giving these things away. I will get to that in a moment. But as you can see here, I did house it in there. This can also be used as an embellishment box. And you can gift that as well. So this here is going to be a USA giveaway. I will also be doing an international giveaway. I will get to that one in a moment. And I made, since I made this into a purse the theme is a purse I have decided to create embellishments purses <laughs> and these are what they look like I kept it simple it's already intricate as it is, so it, it didn't really need a lot. And I used rose gold foil uh, cardstock that Ida had gifted me. And these are the tags that they are mounted on. And this um, adhesive is fairly easy to come off. So once you use the embellishments, you can use turn these into beautiful tags. So you have a two-in-one here. And this is how I decorated the toppers. I kept it very simple, but it's still shabby. Okay. I will also be gifting this purse that also contains some goodies. This is a digital file that I personally had created. And this is the smaller one. That This also has a, a bigger purse. I also use a mold to create these clay pieces and decorate them so for the international I will be giving away the digital file to make the purse and this is the smaller one and this is the larger one here so here you can see the difference that one is smaller than the other and all the elements you see here are included except for the lace of course um, and whatever parts you don't use, you can create other things with it. Like this I used, um, you know, these are like extras. So I made a rosette out of that to decorate the purse with. So that no, no ink and no paper goes to waste. You will be able to utilize every part of this element. You know, all the parts of the digital that it comes in. And this is, it's an expandable gusset so that you can ship this and it will be inexpensive. And the other alternative is if you want to hand gift some, you know, something to someone, you can make it up th 3D. It's like a box. So you see how I did, I made these into gussets. Well, these parts that I didn't use, I just turned them into rosettes. I do have a tutorial on how to put these together. I will link that in the description box as well. So that is for international. So indicate whether you're international or USA. 
because I will be assigning numbers and do a I will use that to generate numbers to pick out a winner I will use a website thank to do you that. so kindly Renee for your generosity thank you so kindly Sandy and Robin for your dedication and time in putting this amazing hop together and asking me to be a part of it next on the lineup is Ida from created to create and it's linked in the description box below so with that being said all is well let's share be fair be filled with love and love one another take good care everybody